On this vlog, I'm gonna talk about locking the captain's chair on any motorhome or camper van, just like this. And basically, that's as far as it will turn with the T-bar lock on. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you how I installed a T-bar lock, um, which basically just stops the captain's chair from swiveling round and acts as another deterrent. Also going to be talking about the clutch claw um, that fits on the uh, brake and clutch pedal. Show you how to change the battery on that and tighten up the mechanisms because it comes loose. Also touching base with the habitation door lock that we've had fitted, which is a, a Melenko door lock. Just a little bit of van security, um, just a bit of mindfulness and a few tips that we've used along the way. So come along with us. Yeah, I just want to show you how easy it is to fit the clutch claw. Basically, you have to get the spacer underneath there, and I just, just, just basically put that on. I did remove the rubber matting on the bottom, makes it life a lot easier. Now that, that basically slides under there, and then clutch claw through that centre hole, pushes down, come up to you, feel the notch, and there we have it. Obviously, quite a difficult thing to get off. I would imagine, as I say, you're not going to stop, not stop someone nicking your van if they're determined to do so, but all you're doing is making it as difficult as possible. The good thing as well, you see this, you've got a, um, a flashing light um, in there, a little neon that obviously looks like it's, it's alarmed. Um, doesn't really serve any purpose, to be honest, but I'll show you how to change that because obviously this locking mechanism after a year came a little bit loose. Um, and I'll show you now how to uh, change the battery in the clutch claw and obviously you know, tighten up tighten up that mechanism. What I'm gonna show you now is just how to replace the, the battery on the, uh, on the clutch claw. So obviously take it off its main base part and obviously there's two screws which are in the end there that you can hopefully see. So we'll undo and this side. Obviously takes the the back mechanism off that then just pulls away. And then you'll see in there, see, there is a um, a small watch type battery, I think it's a CR2020, um, which basically just clips in there. One thing we did notice about this after using it for a couple of years is that the actual lock mechanism became a little bit loose and it was difficult to get the, uh, to get the key in and get it to unlock. So if you see there's a brass nut that sits behind that fascia, basically you just get a pair of pliers, get that tightened up and it makes the whole mechanism uh, Nice and easy. Yeah, but a real basic piece of kit, but we love it. We've fitted the uh, the Malenko habitation door lock. Basically opens and closes like that. Obviously that's locked, stops the, the hab door from uh, from opening. Just a, just a visual deterrent really. Um, if they wanted to get in, obviously they could, but it's just, just an added piece of security that goes up. And obviously the beauty of this is, <coughs> you also can lock it and unlock it from the inside. So if you're in there of a night, you, could, you can lock that. Obviously easy access. If you need to get out quick, it just does that. We had this factory fitted. It's not something that I fitted myself. Um, I did look at doing it. Um, didn't look that complicated, but whilst the van was in for a habitation check, um, I think it cost about 90 quid for, for Brown Hills to do it. And yeah, it works, works really well. And say so another part of our motorhome security. Got one little tip to share with you. We mainly use this when we're wild camping overnight. Um, just as a little bit of extra security. We use it quite often in France when we're just popping into a supermarket and we just want to you know, secure the, 
um, the passenger and the driver's door. All it is, little piece of little piece of webbing. Got just a draper strap that we've just tied up with a with a reef knot under there, um, and the same same on the driver's door. And then we have a piece of luggage strapping. So just a bit of luggage strapping, quick release, passes through each each one. You could you could do it without having the uh, having the webbing on. Just we just find it easier just to leave that on there all the time. It just stops the obviously the central lockings on, but it just uh, just another piece of security which is really easy to do, so that you can uh, actually secure the door. We also have a um, factory fitted Thatcher alarm system that was installed new with the vehicle. So it was, when we purchased the vehicle, it came with it, so which is good. Um, and it also came with um, a GPS tracker system, which is obviously a, a toggle or several toggles which are concealed are in the motorhome, um, linked to a GPS. It's like a subscription service that we got free for the first four years. Um, so next year we'll have to pay for it and then obviously we'll decide obviously what we're doing with it. But obviously it's a good way of knowing where your vehicle is, you know, should it be taken, um, and obviously hopefully um, easily found. The same with the, with the alarm system. There are you know, many different types of alarm um, that you can have. We've had the Thatcher fitted you know, from new and what that's done, that's actually reduced our insurance premium by about 6%. Um, having a recognised uh, system um, that meets the, the criteria for the insurance company. So you can only make your van as secure as you can. But just, yeah, I think every, every, every van should do it. The, the types of alarm, um, from no, no, ranging from £50 up to as much as you want to spend. But any form of alarm is always, always going to be a, um, is always going to be a deterrent. Something else we do as well. We've got the uh, the protective by clutch claw. Just little stickers on the outside outside window. Just two fairly intrusive. You can't. I mean, they're, they're not massive. They don't get in the way. Um, yeah, just another tip. Keep your blinds closed. Um, people don't know if you're in there or, or, or not. It's just another. It's just another sensible deterrent that we we use all the time when we're on the site. We always keep the blinds closed. Um, when we're not in the van. So just going to uh, just show you how I fit this this T bar onto the captain's seat. Basically, you're going to drill, drill a small hole. Difficult to show you with the camera, but there's a small hole there where the T bar actually goes through. Um, just enabling or not enabling or stopping the um, the captain's share from actually being turned round. So just another little hack. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put a little mark with a, bit, with a felt tip onto the barrel where the where the bolt hole needs to be drilled, just to give us a just to give us a mark. there push down and that gives us a mark double check it yep so uh, just put a center dot In there. Right, so we'll uh, do a do a pilot hole with the small drill first. Then we'll come up in size 
and we'll do that a couple of times. Just makes the uh, makes the drilling a lot easier rather than tr trying to drill a big hole straight away. T-bar lock goes through there, push down. Locked in position. Does that? No, stops the uh, stops the captain's chair from from turning. Listen, you're never ever going to stop people breaking into your van if they really want to get into your van. However, if you can make it as difficult as possible, then I think that's quite a good little fix. The uh, the captain's chair T-bar lock. There's a T-bar lock that we use for the captain's seat. Um, just a T-bar. I got it from Amazon, relatively cheap. It is hard than steel. Um, it comes with 10 keys for some reason. Why you need 10 keys? Um, I don't know, but there we have it. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Just a little bit of an insight into a bit of van security that, that we use. Um, if you found the, the, the content interesting, please like and subscribe. Obviously, we're trying to grow the channel. And that's 10 people that like and comment on our video. We'll send you one of our new Jono's on Tour stickers. That's obviously if you're interested in having one. Um, please like and subscribe.